Hello, everyone, guys, and welcome to Odoo Stick channel. Uh, guys, today I will show you how to create a one to many field. Uh, before, previously, I have shown in my videos that how to create many to one. Uh, you can search um, in my videos how to create a many to one field. But today I will just show you how to create a one to many field in my uh, in in Odoo, and it will be Odoo sixteen. Today I am using Odoo sixteen, and I have got Odoo sixteen Enterprise Edition. So guys, there is not if you are using Community. Uh, so even if you will do the work which we are uh, doing today, it will not be affected if you even have got Community version. All right, and the IDE I am using today is the same uh, Visual Studio Code which always I'm using in my videos. So let me just show you what is uh, one to many field like, how it looked like. So if we go in sales module, if I just open a sales order, so you see here, this is a sales order. And in the sale order, if you see, these are the lines here. So the, this is a one to many field. What it means that one sale order has got many sale order lines. So one too many. So one too many. One is pointing towards sale order, and many is pointing to sale order lines. And sale order line, which is a one too many field, has also got an inverse relationship, many to one relationship with the sale order. So I will show you how we can do that. So this is Odoo sixteen, and in Odoo sixteen they have what is really good thing that now we very easily when we hover around hover the mouse on top of our fields we can easily see the names of our fields. But previously in Odoo fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, this was not the case. It was a bit difficult to just find the exact name of the technical name uh, in one to many fields. Okay, so for this practice for this video, I have chosen this application, Fleet. So what you need to do, you just need to go in Applications, and here you just need to search Fleet. Guys, this is a built-in Odoo application. This is a built-in Odoo application. I have already installed it just for saving my time, because otherwise it was going to be a very long and lengthy video. So I have already installed it. So once you will install it, it will look like this. So this is basically, this fleet app is about the vehicles um, where you can just buy the cars, then register them, and then you can sell it later. It has got all the record services, odometer contracts. So, so all domains about the vehicle you can handle with this application. So uh, what I have thought for this video that we are going to make a page here and that page will be MOT. Guys, if you are living in the United Kingdom or Europe, so you must know the terminology MOT. MOT is, uh, I'm just telling just for, the, for my friends who are not from UK or Europe, they're from other countries. So MOT uh, is a certificate and that is valid for one year. When you buy a car, you need to legally drive on in, in United, United Kingdom. You need this certificate. So whenever you buy a car, you must check that if, they have a MOT certificate and if that's valid or not. If that is expired, you need to go to a service station and then you need to get a MOT certificate. They just check the faults and uh, legal things about the vehicle and then they give you a certificate. So that certificate will tell you when it will be expired. So that is normally a one year. So uh, why MOT? So each vehicle can have many MOT. One MOT is valid and then this well MOT is expired, then the second one, then the third one. So that's why one vehicle can have many MOT, so one to many. So we are going to create a page here. I have already written the code just for saving time. So I will just mention you how to do that. First of all, I have created a custom module, which is customization. And in that module, first of all, I have created a py Python file which is a fleet underscore MOT dot pi. Right. In this model, this is the syntax when we create a model. And then this is the class name. So in my case, I have just called this NACD or any anything. So I will just call this uh, 
customize fleet MOT, right? And then this is the name I will call it customize <coughs> fleet MOT. And here, uh, this is the first field in that MO, uh, in this model. So I will say MOT start date. This is a date field and string is MOT start date. Then the second field, MOT expiry date, uh, fields dot date, and the string is MOT expiry date. Then the third field, MOT service station, from where it has been done. Uh, I've just made this a many to one relation with rest dot partner, and string is MOT service center, and then vehicle underscore ID. So basically, uh, okay, I will just tell you this later. Okay. So, I've just created this model, and then we just need to give this file name in init.py. Init.py, we just need to give from dot import fleet underscore mot, the name of our py file. Then we go in views and create a fleet underscore mot dot xml file. Okay. So, here, uh, this is the ID of my view. So I have just given fleet vehicle model form extension view. Name is fleet.vehicle.model form. So whatever name you want to give, you can just give. Uh, so because I want to add a page on fleet.vehicle uh, model, I just want to show you. So if you see here, I just want a page here. So if you look here, fleet.vehicle, this is the model name. So that's why I have given the model name is fleet.vehicle. Now for inheritance, because I want on that page, um, my customization, I need inherit ID. So how to get that? You need to click this button, but before clicking this button, you must ensure that developer mode is on. Okay, it's already on and you need to click on this button, edit view form. And then an external ID, you can see here, fleet.fleet .fleet vehicle view form. I copy this and paste this here. I already have got it here. Okay. Then, um, okay. Now, if you see in front end, so there are already three pages here. One, two, three. So I just want MOT after model. So what I do, I just do XPath. And I say page number two and then after. Right, guys? And then I create a new page, which is a MOT. I make a page name MOT. And then, okay, then this is a one to many field. This is in the page, I'm adding a one to many field, which is vehicle MOT IDs. How to create a one to many field? I just go back to our Visual Studio Code. Python file. Okay, guys. So if you <clears throat> see here, because we want to add a one to many field on this model, fleet.vehicle, so we create a, a vehicle MOT IDs. I give a name to this field and I say fields dot one to many because this is one sale order here. Oh, sorry, one fleet.vehicle model and we'll pointing to the many, which is this model. So this mod, what is the name of this model? I just say this, customize. Okay, and then as I told you that once when you make a one-to-many relation, there is should be a inverse relationship with this. So this has got a vehicle ID, many-to-one, which is here. And this many-to-one will point here, the uh, one, uh, uh, the other module where the uh, one to many field we are adding. So this is vehicle ID, fields dot many to one, and this fleet dot vehicle. I hope you understand this. Okay. So this is the name of our one to many field. Now we go back to our view. This is our view file. And here, this is the one to many field. And then in this field, we create a tree view here. And then we add the fields, whatever fields are present in that one. Uh, that model where this one to many is having a relationship which is this one this one so at the moment we have these three fields we add these three fields 
start date, expiry date, and MOT service center. Start date, expiry date, and MOT service center. Right, guys? So, and one thing don't forget is when you create a new model. So, because you have created a new model here, you need to add uh, access rights permission in your security file. So, if you don't have a folder in your uh, custom module, you need to create this folder security. And then in this folder, this file should be like this ir.model.access.csv. So, in this file, what I have said, this access. I will say this customization or customize and then and here give the model name model uh, the syntax will be like this so you need to give model and then underscore and then model name and all have underscore so if you see here customize fleet mot i copy this and I paste after the model here. So because this is dot here, you need to change it to underscore. And then base dot group underscore user, this is the um, for access and one, 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 one is basically read, write, uh, delete and unlink and rewrite. So let me just restart the service and I upgrade the module. So our module name is customization, which is here. Let me just upgrade the module. Okay, so it has been upgraded, no errors. If I go in fleet now, and if I go in any record, You can see here. You can see here there is all there is a page has has been created and this is after two pages one two after that MOT. If I click here, you can see three fields here. First field is MOT start date, second is MOT expiry date, and third one is MOT service center. If I click to add the line, it will open the form here. If you don't want this form to be opened, what you can do. You can just go back in your view file and you can say here uh, tree edit table is equal and we say here bottom let's restart the service this is really use uh, useful uh, thing edit table is bottom i will show you what it will do Let's upgrade our module, which is customization. So why I have just um, read it, read, read, written the code just because to save save the time. Already this video has has been a bit lengthy. So if I was not writing the code, it was going to be very very long video. So let's go to fleet and let's open the record. Let's go to MOT page and if I click here, guys, you can see here, there is no form opening now. So here you can add the date, the expiry date will be, okay, for next, okay. This is the expiry date and the service center because I have made relation to many to many to one relation with a rest dot partner. So if I click here, it's here. If you want to see that uh, what relationship it has, if you hover the field here you can see mot underscore service underscore station center and relation rest dot partner so you can select here and then you can um, save this record create so this is how you can create if you go in so if you go in this field oh this is the contract sorry I just went into the contract. This is the field MOT. So this record has been saved. So you, you have seen now how to create a one-to-many field. This is very useful and very, very um, you know, uh, common. Uh, whenever you will do or do development and you will work in any company, 
every day you need to create one to many and many to one relationship with objects so i hope you like this video uh, if you like it please share it this is your channel uh, and yeah uh, i will i will be coming back with more more intuitive um, solutions thank you so much guys take care bye